who's surprised that cops, uh, correctional officers, guards and stuff are smuggling drugs into jails? How else are these people getting all the contraband that they do? It's just not regular people smuggling in, in the drugs. It's the cops and the guards and stuff doing all that. Only on Local 10, police have made more arrests in alleged drug smuggling operation at the Miami-Dade County Jail. Local 10's Annalise Garcia broke this exclusive investigation and has our update tonight. In early March, Local 10 uncovered a current public corruption investigation involving drugs being smuggled into Miami-Dade jails by a ring of people, including corrections officers. Thursday, arrests in this case were made. The first, Diego Loesia. Our cameras rolling as Miami-Dade police detectives escorted him into a police cruiser. He appeared in federal court the same day. Our crew was there. The U.S. Attorney's Office says he's accused of supplying the drugs to corrections officers so they could sell them to inmates. The second arrest we know of, Nolan Frazier, a now former corrections officer who was also allegedly involved. He also appeared in federal court Thursday. You see, this is why we need to take a close look at cops and guards and stuff like that to see what crimes they are committing. Though we should also just legalize drugs, allow, you know, inmates to use soft drugs like cannabis, and we wouldn't have this kind of issue. Package was sent to me, which we ended up having to, you know, turn over to the police, and we found out that that had drugs soaked on the paper. In early May, Local 10 told you defense attorneys are no longer able to take paper discovery into the jails when they see their clients. Someone had a drug overdose in the jail and it has to get in there some way and the only ways to get in are either through a person or through the mail. These attorneys tell us packages are being mailed to the jails with false sender information. Inside are papers laced with drugs. He's wow, somebody told me about this kind of uh, drug smuggling uh, operation. Uh, or this style, um, and it's kind of amusing that I'm like reading about it still happening because I thought, you know, this was done with. He said that my son had enough fentanyl in his system to kill 20 people. We also told you about several. Wow, the cops that are supposedly working to get fentanyl off the streets are putting fentanyl onto the streets. Several people who died inside the jail due to drugs. How did they even get in there? I mean, obviously nothing is going to bring my son back. I then asked the jail about people who overdosed while in custody but survived because of Narcan. Miami-Dade Corrections tells me the overdose reversing drug was administered 25 times in 2022 alone. Whether or not these overdoses and deaths are connected to this investigation and these arrests is still unclear. And we also know that these two people, Frazier and Loasia, were not the only two people arrested today in this public corruption case and that this investigation is not over. I'm live in my... They need to investigate every single guard in that correctional facility as well as the police department because there is a lot of people that know something and are hiding it.